the victors valiant, the conquering heroes, and they call home the big house. Bathed in maize and blue, welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. And the Wolverines will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his 25. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. So the Minnesota Golden Gophers offense is on the field for the first time today. Historically, guys, Michigan has kept a death grip on the little brown jug. Gophers hoping to put that thing in play today. And you see that little brown jug and the celebration after every Michigan-Minnesota game. And you're right, Michigan has had it for the majority of the time. Minnesota knows that. we got to do something about that today. Yeah, Minnesota plays in a lot of trophy games, don't they? But this is one they would love to put in the trophy case a lot more consistently. To do that, they have got to match the intensity of Michigan in this game, and they have got to be more physical than what they've shown in recent years. What a great play by the linebacker. You talk about filling a hole. The defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit out, sir. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. On the move, it's Brosmer. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. This rivalry dates back to 1892, but it was in 1903 that fielding Hurry Up Yost was worried that Minnesota would contaminate his water supply, hence the start of the Little Brown Jug. How about that, man? A little little tampering back then? A little, you're going you're gonna to fix the game, mess with... And the ball is intercepted! And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And that's kind of a double whammy for this offense because on their opening drive, not only did they turn it over with the interception, but they've now set their defense up in a really tough spot deep in their own end. Offense set on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Unloads it left. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. Michigan completely controlled this rivalry game last year and just took the jug away from the Gophers. Listen, Michigan's a program at this point with recent success. They're thinking about national championships. We've seen them in the college football playoff here in recent years. Touchdown, Michigan! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Paul, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this round. In the war of the Little Brown Jug, guys, it originally was just a water jug that Michigan wanted back, and Minnesota told them, well, come win it if you want it so bad. Yeah, listen, I mean, it's not the most expensive-looking trophy out there for <laughs> sure, but listen, it was important, and it was helping hydrate people back in the day, David, so, you know, get points for that. Not expensive, but you know what? Anything that drives the hate between people and the animosity, sign me up, bro. And so we got to play for it. It means something, and people argued about it. Little Brown Jug, man. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking downfield, it's Brosmer. He's got it down the middle. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. 
third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmys and the Joes. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Turns it on in midfield. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going. He beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. They'll leave it with him. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. Balls at the 24, a lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. Snagged in the middle, it's Jackson. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Snap it to the back. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Golden Gopher! Well, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Oh, he's going to take a chance and bring it out. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a player. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Offense gets set for second down. To the air, it's Orgy. Coming after it. Takes a hit as he fires. Terrific job not just settling for the negative play and getting it to the running back. Yeah, and you're supposed to go through your progressions, you, and you're obviously going to attack down the field and make a big play, but a lot of times when you dump it off to the running back, he can make something happen. And you're right, get something positive out of it. Fires and picked off. Looking for more room. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. I'll tell you, you got to give the defense credit, though, because with these conditions, it's not easy to catch for the offensive players. Certainly not for the defense, but great eye-hand coordination securing that interception. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They stop him just a week or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Defense loves to show heat and try to confuse the quarterback. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Wide out in motion. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. And he's pulled most to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. 
Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And he just needed a few inches, and he didn't get it. The defense denies this offense. This crowd busting the decibel meter and trying to will a fourth down stop. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. Low man wins. Defense that time on fourth down was expecting the run. And you saw at the point of attack how they just dominated. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Defense wins the down. They give it back up now to their offense. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Gets it past the marker. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. What a nice run there. And from the beginning of time, Michigan football has been synonymous with running the football. You can think back to Tyrone Wheatley, Anthony Thomas, Chris Perry, Hassan Haskins, big physical runners that also had sprinter speed and that could change the game. This dude right here, every time he has the football, he has the ability to go the distance, and that's what makes this Michigan offense so dangerous. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Quick pass on the jet motion. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And great recognition by the quarterback. That touch pass, after he throws it to the quarterback, it's a pass. He can't throw it forward again. Nice job understanding that, flying up, coming and making the big tackle in the open field. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Blasted as he lets it go. A strike downfield. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. He wants to throw it again. He looks that one in nicely. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. The Wolverines come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback, touchdown Wolverines! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together, great job executing, great job getting the touchdown. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. Minnesota has it back in the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Boy, that last drive, they had a chance to put three on the board and passed. This one needs to be productive, David. Yeah, I got no problem with aggressiveness. It was a pretty decent drive. This offense didn't fully... Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. One of the things I love about these misdirection type plays is that you can pull offensive linemen and get extra bodies at the point of attack. So you're setting yourself up with good angles if you execute it properly, David, and you saw it right there. And saying the word angles means a lot because it's exactly what you do. Now I can block down and I can leave somebody unblocked, pull around, kick him out, use misdirection in the backfield. Really just get your eyes as a defense on something else and then go the other direction. Nice misdirection play call by this offense. He's got the tight end. 
And they pick up just a few on that completion. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. The holder will spot it about 35 yards out. It is good! They were able to get a field goal on the board and now they'll kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll run play action. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. Looking for a man, it's Orgy. Right down the middle. It's caught downfield. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40 and it's first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the running back has it. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. He fires one deep down the right side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. He got the first down and more. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. Fires to the right. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Not sure exactly what went haywire there, but the timing was just off. And that's your job as a defense, right? You've got to find a way to disrupt the timing and jam wide receivers or get to the quarterback and make him feel uncomfortable. But you can't let that timing be easy and effortless. Nice job by the defense. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. A third and long coming up here. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. You know, these throws to the perimeter of the field can be so tricky for a quarterback. You've got to be pinpoint accurate and have great timing. You didn't see it there from the QB. On fourth down, going to the air. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. You know, offensively in that situation, fourth down, you're throwing for it. Everything has to go right, or someone just needs to be able to make a play to keep the drive alive. They couldn't get it done, and now the offense is coming off the field. It's complete to the left. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Back to pass. It's Brosmer. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit, and when they get hurried, and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense. Pressure in the corner. Quickly out to the tight end. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. 
A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here comes the field goal unit. And he's going to reach for a long one and have to guide it in from the left side. 51 yards out. It's good. I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half. And there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, seldom do the rational turn irrational the way they do these two teams and fan bases get together with a little brown jug on the line. Kickoff and kickoff from turn teams on the field, and we're just about ready to go in the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They love to put a long drive together here as they start from their own 21. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got an open man. And that's where they'll mark him, but a very productive play, and they'll move the chains. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He rifles one deep down the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Throws to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. And the Wolverines will send out the punt unit. Well, I know this offense came out here in the second half hoping to build on their one possession lead, but after that incompletion, I think the smart thing is to just kick it away here. Let your defense play and try to get it back to you without giving up any points. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, at least, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on it. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Looking to throw, it's Grosmer. Fires to the big fella. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Gets his first one of the day away, and that matches his total from that victory last week. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. He'll come out throwing on first down. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. Second down coming up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, when you get penetration by that defense right away, and there's no way to cut at all for that back, 
he gets destroyed right away. No way that play was going to be successful. Way too much penetration. On third down, he drops to throw. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that's a play on third down. This offense just has to do a better job protecting their quarterback, give them a split second more time to complete that throw, but they couldn't do it there. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Downfield and in, complete the defense holds. And the offense stays aggressive. They try to throw the football and just weren't on the same page. It was an incompletion. He could have done a better job, I think, throwing the ball to his receiver and maybe making it where it's more of a 50-50 ball where he can make a play. Defense gets the big stop. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The play-action fake. The short hands, it's Spencer. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. Draws is the 30, he's got a late. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains, it's first down at the 27. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw, it's Rosemer. Finds his tight end. A six-yard pickup that leaves him with third and four. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your infield goal range. What do you do here? Split the upright, it's good. And they've regained the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Prime inside the 10. Here he comes. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. I think the one thing you can say here, Jesse, is that both defenses have done a pretty good job mitigating damages. Yeah, and on that last drive, not getting it on fourth basically only cost you three points. That's the good news. Let's just turn the page, David, and move on. So I think you can still be aggressive. You, you can still go for it on fourth down. Now you know you can trust your defense. I'm not seeing a lot of chemistry between the QB and his intended target on that play. Right back to the air on second and ten. He turns that loose down the right side. Great job by the DB covering deep. Listen, you always say deep to shallow, deep to shallow. Don't give up the big play. Great job by the DBs seeing the football, going and breaking on it, and make sure the wide receiver doesn't make a big play. Oh, man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, Understand that quarterback's got to be rushed. Get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Hit as he throws. That ball never had a chance, and they'll turn it over on downs. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He'll take a shot. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. The offensive line and the hog volleys up front take a lot of the brunt, a lot of the blame, a 
lot of the time. That absolutely was not on them. The QB could not find anywhere to go with the football, apparently. We got some room entered to the goal line. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. What a big time run for this offense. A physical run, getting down, almost scoring the touchdown. Yeah, and considering how well they're running it right now, why wouldn't you just hand it off to this guy right here again? He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Listen, the offensive coordinator's best friend in the red zone is the running game. Make guys commit near the line of scrimmage so I can throw behind. This defense is good, but I'm going to challenge them. I'm, I'm going to try to be the more physical team. I love the play call. I think you keep running the football and stay physical. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. Barge is ahead, and they swarm him under. Third and two, trying to be physical, trying to win the battle up front. Almost there, Paul, but just short, fourth and inches. And he was so disappointed he didn't pick up that first. He's looking over to the sidelines right now, asking for the ball again here on fourth. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try to field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. From back of the end zone, he'll bring it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. We'll see if that failed fourth down in their own end last time, David, sort of curbed some of the aggressiveness. Well, you hear about it all the time in football. Go for it. Be aggressive. The problem is when you get stopped, sometimes it puts you in a hole. And Jesse, now the offense has to come out and respond. They were real disappointed not getting that first down. You could see it on the sideline. So let's just see if that's kind of galvanized them a little bit here to go make a statement and get some points. From the gun, running back on the move. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Trying to get to it. Hit as he throws. Got his man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run the option. Now the toss. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Michigan! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. He makes the connection. He will be stopped short. They can't get the two-point conversion, and they're still up by one here in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. They did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I, I think the first part was the most important part. You've got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. After missing the connection last time, it's second and ten from the 22. Wide receiver shows motion. Running back searching for a hole. Oh, what a move. Oh, he's still got more. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. 
And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I, I just I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Makes the grab over the middle. Yeah, I throw a little hitch route, and I start getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Got some of the work done on first down. Let's see what they have on second down. Taylor has it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Jukes his way for more. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward. Let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job. Nice execution. First down. And the Golden Gophers are marching down the field. Pulls it and fires to the left. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Here comes the offense on second down. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a... And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. That is a gut punch if you're the offense because they're in dime personnel. They're only rushing four guys. You've got five offensive linemen. You've got the option of bringing other people in to help give your QB time. And this offense, not good enough. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. Makes the grab well past the sticks. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. The Golden Gophers have it with a first and ten. Leaves it with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. They love to make this kick easier by picking up a few on third down. It's 56 yards out from here. Quickly to the tight end. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we can get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Absolutely perfect. Big celebration, and understandably so, guys, but there is still time on the clock. That last field goal put them on top, and now this kickoff unit needs to cover well because it only takes three to beat you now. He'll take a knee. It's a touchback save every second he can as they try to put together this final drive. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot. And that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a double. 
My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Getting some heat. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete. And that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. This is why the passion of college football runs so deep. The rivalry, and when you lose, man, does it stick with you. No doubt about it, Reese. This was a game circled for a very, very long time. They knew how important this one was. But, David, you can't let games like this beat you twice because this losing team now has to find a way to rebound and go out and play again. No doubt. Got to rebound, but this one stings. This is the one that you have circled for a reason. It's, it's a rival. It's bragging rights, but you're right. Let's, let's get back to practice this next week and start focusing. This one's over, but we'll get you next year. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.